Hey everybody, I'm going to be doing some um, paste. I'm going to make a polyclay paste and usually what they refer to that uh, on YouTube is frosting for frosting like little itty bitty cakes and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to be making, I mean, you know, you know, I don't do jewelry, you know, I don't do little itty bitty crafts because my hand's too big. So what I'm going to use it for is to uh, use it as a paste to stick cardboard cardboard backing to like my baked clay sheets for the stuff that I'm working on. So uh, I've got my visor. Okay, I got my mask. Okay, I use these things when I'm using anything that's a semi wet application as because of my allergies, etc. Oh, and by the way, lemon water. Awesome. Lem lemon water is, is crazy uh, for just getting anything that's in your system out. Uh, I've been experiencing some body pain from working up and down and not hydrating properly, etc. So I've been using, <laughs> I've been drinking some uh, uh, lemon water and my God, two days, done. And the amount of energy it gave me was uh, amazing. So give it a try, try it, don't try it. It's awesome. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually record what I'm doing but because of all this all this stuff all this contraption on uh, that I've got that I have on I'm going to um, just do a voiceover and, and show you what I'm doing so wish me luck the first thing that you're going to want to, to get well the first thing I used was uh, I used some <laughs> I used some year old translucent Cato polymer clay now it's already been opened I didn't look after it because because that's me I don't I mean I'm not a purist right so I don't you know take it out of the package and I wrap it up nicely I experiment I see what I can do and here is half a package of some lovely crumbly ass <laughs> translucent year old Cato polymer clay and as you can see it just looks like cheese right now you know when you take off some like cheddar cheese and you're breaking it up and it's just all nasty and crumbly but wait just wait and see what happens with this um, you're also going to need something to stir uh, to stir your your mixture up i'm going to condition it with some lovely gl glycerin to just condition it a little bit just um not condition it but soften it a little bit so i've got like one uh, maybe two fingertips of glycerin and i'm just basically mashing it into my hands so it right now it looks like uh it looks like curds looks like curds and um, yeah so something to stir with eventually and you'll see I'm just using a, um, a coffee stick like a, a wooden coffee stick or what, what do they call it stir stick right and I'm just adding some more glycerin to it just to soften it up and get it to a point where um, I can get it to as close to um, its original softness. I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to do that without adding yet um, some Cato liquid polymer clay. Liquid polymer clay. See that? Clear liquid polymer clay. Um, and um, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to uh, need to grab my gloves, put those gloves on. I'm, I'm wearing a mask and I'm wearing a visor right now because I just, I can't tolerate um, the, uh, the the wettish, semi-wet stuff. And I'm gonna add it up. I'm just going to uh, grab it and add it to the, uh, the curds of polymer clay that I have in my little, you know, uh, I don't know, a paper cup, paper dish, 
And then I'm going to continue now to mash it up and it's not gonna it's not gonna stir up nicely just right now. So I'm just gonna mash it and poke it and immerse it in the liquid polymer clay and I'll be right back. And look at this amazing thing. Look at it. It's so soft. It's almost like um I want to say, you know, like dough, like like if you're making some bread and you're, you know, you're kneading the bread and, you know, um, you pull it apart, right, for your dough. It almost feels like that and it's that soft. It's beautiful, right? I mean, go glycerin. You can take glycerin and put it on cracked old nasty heels <laughs> and it can soften the skin on your heels. Well, look at what it did with uh, this Kato year old kato, kato polymer clay and adding some uh oh, i was thinking about here i was just thinking about adding some more but i'm not going to um and adding some uh, liquid polymer clay to the uh to the glycerin and the cracked old you know dry stuff and it just came out so great so i decided yeah i'm not gonna do that so i can you just look at look soft like dough soft right so I'm ripping some stuff up and um, I think I are what I already did was I took half of what I had from before and I put it aside just so that we could see a comparison at the end and I'm putting my uh, a second set of gloves on I changed my gloves because uh, the first ones got all mucked up from the original uh, liquid clay that I had so I had to dump those so I got some more gloves putting those on and um, yeah I'm gonna add some more liquid polymer clay to it it's still nice and soft but you know even though it's soft you know it's still a thermoplastic so and my kitchen is a little bit on the cold side today so um, yeah it it does get a little stiff in the cold so yeah here is where i think i i pulled it apart um and put half away no okay well maybe i already did that but i'm adding some more uh liquid clay and here i've got my metal um like sculpting tool sculpty sculpting tool I'm just poking it and I'm prying it and I'm you know immersing it into some more polymer clay just to soften it up to uh, the consistency consistency that I want to get it to Oh yeah, here it is here. Like, oh, so great and stretchy. I think that's um, a good start. Um, it's not quite where I want it, but uh, you know, mixing it around some more, getting all the rest of the polymer, liquid polymer clay off the bowl. But look at this, right? Look at, look, beautiful. Look, oh my God. It's like, this is like toffee like hot toffee but but not hot now look at look Ooh, look oh yeah it could just, like how great look at okay now that's still not the consistency that i want i want it to be like um flour and water um but this is a great start and i think probably this is where i actually put part of it away and um i'm going to use half um, and I'm going to add some more polymer clay to it so that it gets to be like a like a flour and water consistency. You'll see what I mean. Look at that though. Cool, huh? How cool is that? Crazy. I get excited over nothing. Okay, here it is. So I added um, some more polymer clay 
a liquid polymer clay to it and it's now looking more pasty which is what I'm looking for I'm looking for a paste see that right so that it's you know it's really kind of pasty sticky pasty and then when I pull it up you'll see that it's really kind of stringy because I, I want it spreadable right I want it to be spreadable see that look right like really stringy see the strings on it yeah so that's more like a flower and uh, water consistency that's what I need um, and I'm gonna have to store it somehow but yeah that's exactly what I need now I'm gonna see what I can do with this and um, then I'm going to uh, take it on upstairs back to the studio and start using it look lovely gorgeous paste love it it. Love. Okay, so we got the stretchy base. I'm going to keep that to make some more paste later. And then we have our paste right here. And we're going to experiment with this experimental piece that I have right here. And we're spreading uh, something like a cream cheese style uh, sort of way to, so I guess you call it buttering this frame. And we're going to take a piece of polymer clay sheet in the same shape. We're going to attach it to the top. And then when it's done, it's going to go into the oven. And we're going to see what happens. See if the experiment worked. And oh my god, yep. See there? You can't even tell that anything was added, right? But it's nice and taut. It's on there nice and tight and just beautiful. So there I have my paste. And I uh, just wanted to say that there does exist a paste called Poly Paste from uh, Van Aken. And um, I have tried it. Um, and it, it works just the same, but because I'm using such large pieces um, and I'm working with large pieces, for the money, I would rather make my own paste and, um, and use that. And there you have it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a, con a constructive comment. See ya.